the Midwest region, Miami Hurricanes. They could possibly come out. This five seed Miami team is dangerous. Miami takes the lead. Juan, square and shoot. Splash! Miller has been automatic. It's all Miami. The Miami Hurricanes dream will continue. Miami heading to the final four for the first time. How possible did you think it would be for you to get back here? You know, Andy, I'm hoping to do that every year. And I'm a great believer in the seven habits of highly effective people by Dr. Stephen Covey. And the first part is be proactive, plan ahead. But the second habit is begin with the end in mind. Where do we want to be when this season is over? And every player is like, we want to be in the NCAA tournament. We want to be in the final four. We want to be the team cutting down the nets. We believe we can do it. Look at this Euro. You might call that a popular decision. He knows the game, does all the little things. Miami, all systems go. This team also has been able to win in different ways. It could be a low possession game, defensive struggle, or it's going to be up and down. How has that been possible? Well, the ACC prepares you for that. When you play against Syracuse, you got to be good against zone. When you play against Virginia, you got to be ready to attack the pack line defense. When you play against NC State, you're going to be pressed and forced into making quicker decisions in a high possession game. You play against Duke, you got to play against seven footers. And so the players feel very, very comfortable. Okay, this is what we have to do against them. To that point, how have you been prepared to play a team like UConn? Well, we continue to prepare. They're great defensively, and they're also a great offensive team. They've got a great big man, and they've got a great shooting guard. So here are the things that we're going to do to try to slow them down. At the same time, we're emphasizing to our players, this is what we need to do to attack that defense. And so our players know we don't change that much, but we have different strategies depending on the kind of opponent. The biggest win in Hurricane Hoops history. Still dancing one step closer to college basketball immortality. There are a few professions where someone in their 70s can relate so well to teenagers and those in their early 20s. How important is it to be somewhat self-deprecating? Uh, I'm always self-deprecating, and those guys know that. And when I'm dancing, I'm really making fun of myself. I'm not Fred Astaire. I'm not one of these guys that's a great dancer. But the players encourage me to do it because basically dancing is fun, and I've encouraged them to dance with me, and they always have. The relationship I have with them is like family. These kids are like an extension of my own family. When you step on that court, Final Four, your second time ever, how much does that bring sort of youthful enthusiasm for what you're doing and, and keep you younger being on this stage? My whole focus is try to help these guys realize their dream. They've all dreamt about winning a national championship, of getting to the Final Four. Last year, we lost in the Elite Eight, and it hurt. It didn't hurt for a day or a week. It hurt for a year. After last year, they were bound and determined to advance to the Final Four, and I'm so proud of them. They've worked so hard for this, and I'm just gonna cheer them on.